Let's welcome Kathy Holly and Spotlight. Hi, everybody. Welcome to the show. Today, I have two fabulous gals. Look at them. I mean, they are all lit up like Christmas tree. Oh, it's not Christmas yet, but a fortune cookie fun over here and balloon artist, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Yes. And over here, Susie Q, known as Susie Abbott, but also a clown and a singer, a wonderful jazz singer. And she does tours. Yeah, right, San Francisco tour guide. Yes, yes. And over here is my alter ego fortune cookie. This is fabulous because I know because Kareen is her other name. I don't know whether to call you fortune cookie tonight or Kareen. What shall I call you? I'm interchangeable because a rose by any other name is still a rose. You, you are <laughs> right. Oh, somebody said that once. Well, you did all these balloons and you did a likeness of me. Well, I did balloon magic and... <laughs> With abracadabra, I turned you into a balloon. <laughs> you did, and I'm I'm full of air. Uh, I, I I feel really airy light. tonight. Light, yes, light. You didn't even have to go on a diet. As a balloon artist, you know all about light because you do you do parties for yes. children, and for adults, right? Absolutely, I appeal oh. to uh, children of all ages. So there's a child in all of us. You know you're right, and I think it would be so much fun to have everything you do at a party. Tell everybody out there what you do. Not only ballooning, but let's say you go to the party, mm -hmm. and there's some children and adults. What can you offer in the way of entertainment? What do you do? Well, if they hire me for balloons, art, artistry, I, that's what I do. And usually if there's extra time at the end because they let the kids go first, the adults will want to have a balloon for themselves or their imaginary children that they have back at home. <laughs> <laughs> oh, right. May I have a balloon, please, for my job? But you also do face painting? Face painting, magic shows. Uh, I do balloon decorations like arches and columns. I also do, uh, I'm also a party casino dealer, and now I own my own uh, tables, so I can bring uh, uh, the casino to your home or a boat or a corporate event, and we play Wonderful. craps, blackjack, roulette, all that other fun stuff just for fun. Yes, your pure <laughs> entertainment just for fun. That's right. So your website is Fortune Cookie Fun dot com. Fortune Cookie Fun. Now I want to ask you, how did you ever get into this business? When well, did this start? Well, do you remember the dot com bomb so many decades ago, or? Well, let's Some see. It was before <laughs> I was born. When was this? No, was dot ago. com bomb. The dot com <laughs> bomb. Yes. I don't remember the word dot com bomb. But go tell us yes, what, yes, what yes, you yes. mean by Back that. In the early two thousands, I lost. Well, everybody was losing their jobs. Oh, uh, yeah. Yes, that. And I was a contract office admin at that time, so I was one of the last people to actually lose work. And uh, so uh, when I did, it's like, hmm, what should I be doing next? And my boyfriend, Dale Chung, yes. he was teaching magic to another clown who invited me to some clown alleys. That's a, me, an alley is a club. And they had conventions and I took some workshop and I discovered Great. my DNA, my future life is in balloons and face painting. Oh my. Oh my. <laughs> face painting. Oh my. I would, oh, I would love to learn that. A lot of people out there would. Yes. Everybody loves to channel their inner artist. And is there a workshop for something like that? Let's say someone's looking at this and says, oh, I would love to be able to do ballooning. Look at my alter ego. She is so well behaved. <laughs> and then I would love to know how to do face painting because that's what you do. Yes, yes. How can they, where are workshops on this? Well, they can contact uh, a clown organization. There's uh, workshops that they put on. There's also uh, other organizations. Uh, you can look at YouTube as well. Oh, uh, there's great. some tutorials on there just to get you started. It's the best thing though is to go to the conventions and the you conventions, really dig oh deep boy. as far as the talent that's out there, the inspiration that you get. Wow and uh, finding out about what tools to really use. Right. Wait, so where, um, 
what I want to ask is, where were you born originally? I'm a native San Franciscan. Woo-hoo, Ooh, me too. Woo-hoo. This is so, so much am fun. I. Good three see, of us. Susie Q is too. We <laughs> could just go on for uh, We natives know what's cooking, I'll tell you. That's right. But all right, what I would like to do is to show our, stu- our audience out there um, a video that I found of you and many other balloon artists building a balloon likeness of Jack and the Beanstalk. Let's just take a look at this. It's phenomenal. Oh my gosh, wow. that is phenomenal, isn't it? I mean, I was wondering how, when you were building that, all of you, different balloonists from all over the world, mm-hmm. right? There were 75 artists from around all over the world, from how every long country. Did um, it take four days? Uh, it took about four and a half days, really. Uh, on the fifth day, there was a community party. The public was ab- able to come in. They had a lot of entertainment. And at the very end, they had a popping party. Oh, fantastic. So, and there were little prizes so <laughs> in, the, uh, in the balloons. So <laughs> how did this all come together very quickly? Because we don't have much time, but did you um, answer an ad, or was this one of the big conventions? No. How this did this happen? This artist who organized all of this uh, had done other um, large-scale uh, creations called Balloon Manor. And uh, he, had, he was on the hiatus for a while, and then when he put out the cattle call for artists to come make, Everybody was excited, and people from all over, 75 people from all over the world came to, fabulous. S- to participate. I, I think that video is just great. People should see that. It's just wonderful. Now, what, here I am at the party, and I say, um, Fortune Cookie, can you please make me a balloon? Yes. Can you do something for absolutely, me? Absolutely, absolutely. Does it matter what kind of an animal I ask you for? We're going to have an. Ex- I now can we're going to have a demonstration. I can, be challenged. can I have a kitty cat? Of course. All of right, course. here is Kareen doing one of her magic tricks with a balloon and so there we are at the party oh my gosh look at this and we're all waiting in line like good children we're not saying we're not crying oh we're mesmerized oh my gosh I love it Look how fast she's able to twist this balloon into a character. This is just a simple one balloon creation. For it can get cat. more complex. Oh my goodness, look at this. Oh, wow. And this is going to be a kitty cat when we're finished. That's correct. Slowly but surely. And I just took care of a kitty cat this weekend. So I wonder if it's going to look like the kitty cat. Oh my goodness. <laughs> you go, girl. Look, at, Look at you. Look at how fast she's doing this. Oh my gosh. A little bit of artwork. Something happens. Oh, 
Poppy's going to have eyes. Of course, little eyes. Oh my goodness, the next thing I know is it's going to be meowing. That would truly be almost oh, little whiskers. <laughs> it's so oh cute. Let's see, he's adorable. Corrine, that is so cute. Look at yeah. look at Oh, he's adorable. All right, everybody, take a look. Let's show the camera. Okay. This is adorable. He's just darling. All right, we have to show your video of what you do. So let's take a look at parties. This is a short little clip of all the things that Kareen can do for you. All right, here we go. Wow, that's so great. Oh, fortune cookie fun for sure. All right, at everybody's party, because I want to go have my face painted, and this is so great. All right. <laughs> Thank you for being on the show, and stay with us, because you know our dear friend over here, Susie Q. Here I, I am. I want to introduce everybody to Susie Q, a jazz singer and yes. a clown. Yes. She does clowning. Yes, I work with the, uh, Kareen. I, we've had gigs together. Isn't that yeah. great? Of course, because children would love all of that. Sure. Sure. But then I got involved with singing. I used to be a singer before I was a clown. Really? Yeah, yeah. I sang blues and R&B in the 1980s. And where were you singing? I was singing all over San Francisco. There was a lot of places to sing back in the 80s. Yes, yes. you are talking yeah. about a time. There, there were, were three or four clubs on Haight Street and about clubs, yeah. six or seven clubs just on Grant Street and North Beach. And I sang blues. And, and things have changed. Yeah. Maybe turn your mic a little bit this way. Yeah, I know that things oh. have changed. Yes. We don't have as many clubs, but we're so lucky. Oh, Th yeah. I, I want to show Keep a going. video if you, when you, you have a band called y Susie. Susie and the Cues, and, the and we Q's. did a house concert uh, at Dana Geller's house. She's the piano, the piano player, player in this video. Yes. Yeah, and I'm singing some great old tunes. Oh, well, let's yeah. take a listen to these yeah. little clips of great old tunes sung by Susie Q. Thank you. Here we go. Oh. 
so you were singing in the 80s. Yeah. And then you decided that you would change and go into clowning. Yes. All right. I went through a midlife crisis and became a clown. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so the, the good part is, Susie, when you become, you, when you go into midlife, that everybody should clown around more. That's There's right, no man. doubt about that. Oh, and so yes. now the other thing it's is very you do, good. you are a tour guide. Yes, I'm also right. a tour guide. I'm a tour guide and a clown and, and a singer. And a singer, my gosh, all at once. Yeah. So what the great part is you combine all those and you can give tours in your clown outfit <laughs> and then you can <laughs> sing. I sing on the tours. The tour. I bet you do. I sing on the tours. I get a lot that's of people it. from East India. They love singing. Oh, that's they great. They do. They sing, sing, sing. Oh, well, they this love is, it. That, yeah. That's so much fun. And you're from San Francisco I'm originally. I'm from San Francisco originally. And we met actually through when I was teaching music out of school in San Francisco. I used to hear about you from yes. your sister-in-law, yes. who was a teacher, yes. and then here I am, and I'm trying to think, wait a minute, how did this happen? How did we get, well, we, you came to see me sing. Yes, and at, at the, uh, yeah. Phil the or yeah. the open mic, one or the other. Yeah. And the eventually, Adeste, yeah, yeah. We, we became friends. And then you come to Villa Dest with, mm. with Corrine. Yes. <laughs> well, you know what? I want everyone out there to really get a taste of how you sing, oh. and a, ja a jazz singer okay. who can sing this song is really a jazz singer. <laughs> the song you're going <laughs> to sing beautiful. first is "Twisted" by Annie Ross from um, um, Lambert Hendricks and Ross, a oh. famous jazz uh, vocal trio. One well, of the first. <coughs> all right, yeah. I am getting ready now to announce the wonderful jazz vocalist Susie mm. Q. Here she is. I had a terrible week last week because you know what happened? My analyst told me that I was right out of my head the way he described it. He said I'd be better dead than alive. I didn't listen to his jive. I knew all along he was all wrong and I knew that he thought I was crazy but I'm not, don't know. My analyst told me that I was right out of my head. He said I'd need treatment, but I'm not that easily led. He said I was the type that was most inclined, went out of his sight to be out of my mind. And he thought I was nuts. No more ifs or ends or buts, so oh no. They said, as a child, I appeared a little bit wild with all my crazy ideas. But I knew what was happening. I knew I was a genius. What's so strange when you know that you're a wizard at three? I knew that this was meant to be. Now they say little children are supposed to sleep tight. That's why I drank a fifth of vodka one night. My parents got frantic, didn't know what to do. But I saw some crazy scenes before I came to. Now do you think I was crazy? I may have been only three, but I was swinging. They all up to the hickram bell. They all up to that sound and it also at Einstein. So why should I feel sorry if they just couldn't understand the reasoning and the logic that went on in my head? I had a brain, it was insane. Soldiers used to laugh at me when I refused to ride on all those double decker buses. Oh, because there was no driver on the top. Okay, now just think about it. There's nobody up there. All right? My analyst told me that I was right out of my head. But I said, your doctor, I think that it's you instead. Because I have got a thing that you can do to prove that I have the last laugh on you. Because instead of one head, I got two. And you know, two heads are better than one. <laughs> I love it. We got to clap, clap, clap. I wish we had a whole audience here for you. <laughs> that was just fantastic. So when we upload this show, then you have to sh share it with all your friends, both sure, of you. And sure. everybody, because that is a difficult song to sing. Oh, yeah, I've been and working on it. <laughs> oh, my gosh, it's fabulous with the bass and everything. Uh, yeah. It's just great. Now, I know you and I are going to San Miguel de Allende. To yes, I'm so excited. I am excited, too. And the bass player, I think he better play it for you. <laughs> I think it would be wonderful. Oh, yeah. I'm just wondering. That would be great. It would yeah. be unique. Yeah. But we know that we, you know, we're, well, things are developing yeah. slowly. So we're going to be going, everybody out there, in October. Yeah. And if anybody wants to come to Mexico, Mexico at that time, we'll be at San Miguel de Allende. 
yeah. October 18th and 19th. You, we oh, viva viva, and viva tune music. In yeah, and tune in to kathyholly.com if you want more <laughs> particulars on that. So you decided to do some clowning and then a tour guide. Yes. And so how did you train to be a clown? Um, well, I think. Kareen would ag uh, agree with me. You just have to be born just a, clown. Born a clown. <laughs> and then you just work on technique. But you have to have the spirit and heart of just that humor, you know? That's right. That humor and that fun. And you love That's kids, right. you know? Yes, right. <laughs> well, Instead of like, you know. Gosh. <laughs> <laughs> Why didn't I do that in the classroom? I'll never know. When I taught music, you know, with 30, I mean, it was it would have been fun to come yeah. in as a clown. Yeah. <laughs> I no, have interesting. Thought of that. Kareen and I have no children. Neither one of us have kids. <laughs> so we say goodbye at the end of the party. Yes, but I it, know. But it I is just you in you to, you know, perform, to, to create things, to be artistic. Yes. There's a lot of, you know, it, art it involved in both. Mm -hmm different kinds of art you know and I've always uh, loved puppetry because hand puppets are fun oh so yes. I started to study ventriloquism I read oh. the book that was written by Charlie McCarthy and or someone else maybe it wasn't Charlie McCarthy but it was so much fun I practiced in front of the mirror and I would bring the hand puppets to music class for the kindergarten and I would teach them some songs that way, and they loved it. Yes. So they, but the child in me loved it. You've talked about the child in all of us. We have, yeah, we have so many children. Yeah. I actually right. am a mother. Right. But now my granddaughter and my grandson are going to be my subjects. Yeah. They think clowning should be taught in schools. Clowns say if it's Grand taught in idea. schools, a bullying would go away because oh, you get I to do these role you. playing that's very deep and very yes. release and ve it helps kids. Acting. Yeah. I used to teach acting. It helps acting. kids yeah, work out their emotions. That's really. right. Uh, when I did acting workshops, I would yeah. have after school, yeah. it was great. We'd do scenes because my whole background is theatrical. Mm. And so we'd do scenes from plays. I found a lot of scenes for young people. And mm. it was wonderful. Mm. And it is a release. Mm. Then we did theater games, and that was great. Mm -hmm. So now tell me about the other side of you as a singer. I know that yeah. Twisted is great, but it's all jazz. Yeah, right. yeah, I'm singing jazz. I'm also, you know, singing some Stevie Wonder, some Van Morrison. Oh, I um, love But that. I've yeah. always loved to sing. I've always loved to sing. Ever since I was a little kid, I just sang mm -hmm. to Barbra Streisand records, and oh, I just ever since I was young. So it's just in me to do, and I thought, well, why not? Why, Why not just not? go out and do it? Why not everybody? Pick it up again, you know. And, you you know, you become a professional when you're paid. For, yeah. So that's good that you were paid because we can obviously well, say all of us have been paid. Pass the tip jar. Right. <laughs> pass the tip <laughs> jar. Let's have your second song. I oh, want to hear you do oh, this, this wonderful is a second ballad. song. Now, this is the ballad, the yes. The Very Thought of You. The beautiful Very ballad. Thought of You, which is a beautiful song. It's on yes. my CD, too. But yes. you do a version oh, that is great. Right, Her right. unique rendition of The Very oh, Thought of You. Yes. Introducing yes, again, right, Susie okay. Q. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm like to stand up. The very thought of you And I forget to do The little ordinary things That everyone ought to do I'm living in a kind of daydream I'm happy as a queen And foolish though it may seem to me That's everything the mere idea of you 
the longing here for you. You'll never know how slow the moments go till I'm near to you. The very thought of you, my love. Oh, Ooh. that was beautiful. The whole orchestra. <laughs> I love it. It's like we're in a, you know, we're at a concert. We bought our tickets, and here's Susie Q. Or otherwise oh, thank known you. as Susie Abbott I, because oh. I you know I always think of you as a clown when I when you're yes. Susie Q so I, I want to give you another name when you're singing it a little more sophisticated so I'm calling you Susan Abbott that's okay <coughs> but Pe people introduce me as Susie Q uh, when I sing at, at the jazz jams and sessions so it's all good oh it's all it's good. all melding together it is it is it's all, all one melding. big crazy mess speaking of melding we're going to have to watch our time a little bit we're okay. going to have to wrap up this wonderful program tonight and i thought it would be oh and your next gig talk oh, about yeah. that in september my, my next gig is september 28th at the ocean mm -hmm. ale house it's a wonderful on place ocean avenue near city college september it's great. 28th come september by september 28th san francisco yeah, in san francisco and you can Thank have you, food Karine. and, and delicious great time and little wine eat. and you can bring children yes and that's what's so great let's go out the child in me and the child in us says can we just have another balloon from Kareen as we please. leave what would you like? well do you think you, uh, <laughs> would you, you like make mermaid? oh a oh. mermaid <laughs> I hope she won't be jealous That's so the line's not ego. closed Kareen <laughs> 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 The not. line is going on, That's the on, hardest everybody. part in a clown gig is closing <laughs> no, the line. Closing the line. Oh, you're <laughs> right, because you have to disappoint a few people. I know, I know, I know. The, all and the children are lined up, and you say, well, all I'm so up, sorry, we're out of time. So and we're going to so go I'm out with ballooning, down. everybody, because Balloon! we're out of Yay! time. <laughs> but wave to everybody as we go, because Bye -bye. Corinne is making a wonderful <laughs> mermaid. Go, girl, go. Here Look we go. Look at you. Mermaid oh, lady. Mermaids go. Oh, people love mermaids. Oh. Yes. Happy fortune cookie. That's right. Happy, Happy fortune, fortune cookie, cookie fun. everybody. Fortune <laughs> cookie yes. fun. Don't forget that for your yes. party. Here she is. Oh gosh, it's going. We're gonna. Oh, this is fancy. Oh. Hey mumbo, mumbo Italiano. Hey mumbo, mumbo Italiano. Go go. You mixed up Siciliano Are you Genovese to the mambo Like a crazy with a hey mambo Don't want a tarantella Hey mambo No more a mozzarella Hey mambo Mambo Italiano Try an enchilada with the fish and baccalama Then a